rights movement during the time period 1950 to 1980. What was the civil rights movement? The civil rights movement was a social movement that happened in the 1950s to 1960s in which Americans strived for equal rights and the stop to racial discrimination. The major events that happened during the movement were mainly actions against racial segregation and all inequality. The main goal of the, social, of the civil rights movement was to gain equal rights for all American citizens, including immigrants and minorities. These are the rising actions that began the civil rights movement. In early 1950s, the civil rights movement was provoked by Brown v. Board of Education of Topeka, Kansas, which was a Supreme Court case made in 1954 that said that the phrase separate but equal was unconstitutional. Because of this case, schools in the U.S. were desegregated, were desegregated, meaning all races could attend school together, regardless of their national origin and race. Then on December 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks, a black woman, refused to give up her seat on the bus for white passengers. Because of this, Rosa Parks was arrested and fined for $10. Seeing this, Martin Luther King organized a boycott and demanded that blacks be treated fairly. This further provoked the call for racial justice and a stop to racial discrimination. During this time, Dwight Eisenhower became President of the United States from 1953 to 1961. In September 1957, Eisenhower passed the first Civil Rights Act, which ensured the black population's right to vote. Then in 1960, Eisenhower passed the second Civil Rights Act, which stated the consequences of anyone who tried to stop another person from voting. For example, a white person who's against the black vote attempting to stop blacks from their own voting rights. But not everyone agreed to the terms of Brown v. Board of Education and Eisenhower's Civil Rights Acts. In 1957, nine African-American students enrolled in Little Rock Central High School were kept from attending by the Arkansas National Guard. These nine African-Americans became known as the Little Rock Nine. This was because the high school did not want these blacks at the school. But Eisenhower denied this and sent police to escort the nine kids into the school, where they would be attending their first day of classes. After this event, Little Rock citizens voted against racial integration, which is the combining of all races. Because of this vote, all of the high schools in Little Rock were closed for a year. After Eisenhower's terms, John F. Kennedy became President of the United States from 1961 to 1963. Kennedy was openly supportive of racial integration and civil rights, but he did not go forward with it as much as Eisenhower did. In fact, Kennedy voted against Eisenhower's 1957 Civil Rights Act, which ensured blacks' right to vote, because he believed it would tear apart the Republicans. Kennedy did not do much to move the civil rights movement forward, but did small acts such as create organizations to employ more African Americans to the civil service. Then, in 1963, a black man named Martin Luther King Jr. gave one of the most commonly known speeches in history, which was his I Have a Dream speech. Over 200,000 people gathered in Washington, D.C. to hear his speech. In his speech, Martin Luther King promoted equal rights of all U.S. US citizens and protested against racial discrimination. Three years after Martin Luther King's speech, the Black Panther Party was founded to further push for the equal treatment of blacks. Originally known as the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense, 
The members of the organization watched for black discrimination acts due to police brutality. Although they were a black organization, they still practiced racial integration as well and welcomed alliances with white activists. Then as time rolled on into the late 1960s and beyond, up to 1980, many major events during this time focused on the equal rights of immigrants and Native Americans. Here are a few examples. In 1966, the Cuban Adjustment Act was passed and gave all human, Cuban citizens permanent citizenship in the U.S. as long as they've lived in the U.S. for at least a year. In 1968, the American Indian Movement began in Minnesota and was provoked by Native American activists who were angered by the unequal treatment of the Natives and by the federal policies that restrained them. But because of this movement, in 1973, a large group of Native Americans led by these American Indian Movement activists seized the town of Wounded Knee in South Dakota. This was called the Wounded Knee Incident. Then in 1970, the U.S. government published a memorandum which required there to be no discrimination regardless of the race or national origin of a person. This memo aimed primarily at schools to promote racial justice for students. In 1974, the Equal, the Equal Educational Opportunities Act passed similar to the 1970 memorandum. This act prohibited discrimination based on all social qualities, such as race, language spoken, gender, national origin, or religion. This was enforced especially in employment and education practices. Back onto the Cubans, in 1980, Prime Minister of Cuba Fidel Castro allowed citizens of Cuba to immigrate to the U.S. by boarding a boat in the port of Mario. The Mario boat lift sent around 125,000 Cubans to America in 1,700 packed boats. Now to review... Brown v. Board of Education and Rosa Parks in the Montgomery bus boycott provoked tensions that led to the beginning of the Civil Rights Movement. President Eisenhower then passed the Civil Rights Act of 1957 and 1960 to ensure blacks of their voting rights. Also in 1957, the Little Rock Nine Escort further intensified opinions on racial integration. Although John F. Kennedy became president from 1961 to 1963 during the Civil Rights Movement, he didn't do much to further promote it. Then in 1963, Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech promoted equal rights for all citizens. Three years later, the Black Panther Party watched over blacks the black community from police brutality, which also promoted racial justice, especially for blacks. Then in the late 1960s up to 1980, major events focused on immigrants who were able to gain more rights and equality because of these events and changes. <laughs>